Book 21, An Archery Contest. The master was already handling the bow and turning it this way and that to see if worms had eaten at the horn while he was gone. The suitors told each other, <laughs> he stares at it as if he were an expert in bows. He acts the part. Perhaps he has a bow like this at home or plans to make one. See how this pitiful migrant fingers it. One confident young suitor said, I hope his future luck will match how well he does in stringing it. So he had tricked them all. After examining the mighty bow carefully, inch by inch, as easily as an experienced musician stretches a sheep gut string around a lyre's peg and makes it fast, Odysseus, with ease, strung the great bow. He held it in his right hand and plucked the string, which sang like swallow's song, a clear, sweet note. The suitors, horrified, grew pale, and Zeus made ominous thunder rumble. Odysseus, who had so long been waiting, was glad to hear the signal from the son of double-dealing Cronus. He took up an arrow, which was lying in the table. The others were all packed up in the quiver, soon to be used. He laid it on the bridge, then pulled the notch end and the string together, still sitting in his chair. With careful aim, he shot. The weighted tip of bronze flew through each axe head and then out the other side. He told his son, Telemachus, your guest does you a credit. I hit all the targets and with no effort strung the bow. I am still strong, despite these their jibes about my weakness. Though it is daytime, it is time to feast. And later, we can celebrate with music, the joyful part of dinner. With his eyebrows, he signalled, and his son, strapped on his sword, picked up his spear and stood beside his chair, next to his father, his bronze weapons flashing.